So you're not gonna feel like doing the thing every day. I don't, Mark Cuban doesn't, Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't, but at the same time, it comes back to how can you be more efficient in your approach when you're actually looking to achieve something? Because every single day is different and if you don't have that structure, if you don't have that routine, if you don't have that system to push things through to completion, you'll find that resistance really, really tough. Now, this week's newsletter is on this because this is something that I've been struggling with day in, day out. There is not a fucking day that goes by where I don't feel like not doing something. And this is the beauty of life. This is the beauty of vulnerability is you need to be open and honest with yourself about what is working and what's not and how can you simplify things because when you are running a business or you're doing things on your own or you're single or whatever, I find that it is a lot harder to push yourself through to completion, to pursue your curiosities, to pursue the projects that you were doing because it's all well and good to sit here and say, yep, yep, I'm going to do it. But when push comes to shove, it's very, very tough to get over that that hump. And that's why I've done this newsletter this week because this is exactly what I've been battling with. And I've obviously written, written um, in the newsletter just a couple of different steps and approaches that can potentially help you guys going forward. So whether you're, you're reading this or listening to this, identifying the problem is the first start. So getting to that root cause. So it might be potentially you can't wake up in the morning, you can't get up on your alarm, whatever. So it's like, what are you doing the night before that is leading up to that? Because the big thing is you want to get to the root cause of this. Why is it such an issue for you to wake up in the morning or for you to start that business? What What's stopping you? Again, I'll relay it back to myself here. This is something that I'm pushing at the moment. I can see that and feel that there's this fucking limited resistance or limiting belief, whatever you want to call it, every time I go to do something. It's like, oh, no, nah, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But it's like, how can we set this up in a way that's actually going to allow you to be the best version of yourself, but to push things through to completion. Now, if it's to do with your alarm and waking up in the morning, having a schedule is fucking key. And I'll use myself as an example here. I haven't been using a calendar the last couple of weeks. I've been using a to-do list and ticking them off. Now, don't get me wrong, this is good, but I've had to experiment with this to see what actually works for me because I've found when I don't have that schedule and I've just got a to-do list, I find it very tough to find what is actually priority. How much time should I actually be spending on stuff? It's great I'm ticking stuff off, but also for my own being, I don't feel like I'm actually doing enough now, this can be a slippery slope as well because it goes, well, you're in your own way. And 110%, I'm 100% doing that. But at the same time, you've got to experiment and find, okay, what's working for me? What's not? What worked in the past? And how can I actually implement this stuff going forward? So get to the root cause, find out what the problem is, what you're doing the night before to actually set yourself up and then come up with a solution or plan of how you're gonna make that, that problem into a quantifiable solution. It's not an easy process, that's for sure. And this is where accountability comes into play because when you've got someone holding you accountable to your actions and to the ways that you are doing life, it really forces you to level up. So this is, again, why people train in the gym with PTs and get swimming coaches and business coaches and stuff like that. I think it's fucking phenomenal because when you've got someone there holding you accountable that you've paid money for, it helps you really push that through. So 
Again, guys, the big thing that I really want to get down to now is the pain plus reflection equals progress. You'll see the image in the newsletter there. It's something that I've really adapted into my own life uh, very recently. When there is pain, you must lean into it because that is where your biggest growth is going to be. If you're constantly not leaning into that and not pushing yourself to your limits, you don't really see what you're capable of. Now, I actually had something happen two weeks ago around um, a business situation and it made me feel very uncomfortable, but I also knew I'm like, okay, what is this teaching me? What do I need to do? So I shut my laptop, put everything down, left, walked, and I just allowed things to flow. Okay, what, what's going on here? Why is there so much resistance? Why is this making me feel uncomfortable? Was writing notes in my phone, and bang, the answer just hit me like that. Because I was allowing that flow and allowing thoughts to come in and, and not fucking pushing that resistance down, it allowed me to go, okay, what do what is the lesson here? What is there's pain, but what do I need to reflect on and where's the progress gonna be? And again, came up with a fucking phenomenal solution. So it's not always that easy. I definitely know that. But the longer you leave shit, the longer it starts to manifest and the, the harder it becomes to uh, the harder it is to to let go of it. Um so Hopefully that highlights for you guys. Pain plus reflection equals progress. To finish this week's up, to finish this podcast up, and again, I am not editing these. I'm just going off the whim. So I'm just going to throw this up. I've been reading The Art of Impossible. Phenomenal book. It's a book that's really, really having a good effect uh, on my own life. It's, it's testing me and teaching me a lot about myself. But the one thing I want to finish on that the book has enlightened me on is curiosity and, and finding out why you're actually here on this earth. And the, the CTA that I've got for you guys is what are 25 topics that you are curious about? Grab yourself a pen, grab yourself a journal, write them out. And then I want you to ask yourself what are 10 real life problems you can solve? Start piecing those together because what he talks about in this book is everything is connected. And when you start to piece these things together, you start to uncover things that you weren't necessarily aware of. And again, because you're curious of it, you're more than likely to keep pushing it through to completion and find yourself motivated in that sense. So again, guys, hope you took value away uh, from this newsletter this week. It's a different um, way that I'm doing it at the moment. So I'm still trial and learn as you as you can see i think you know going forward you've, you've got to trial and learn you've got to trial things so if you took value away please feel free to share it with a friend and i will be back next week with another newsletter cheers